Welcome to the Computer Network Security from Scratch to Advanced course. I am Dr. Muhammad Adli and I will be your instructor in this course. The objective of this course is qualifying beginners and intermediate students to be professional in computer network security. This course requires no background about either networking or security. The course material is based on the material of several security courses offered by SANS Institute. This course covers the theoretical background about computer networks and the practical tools used in network security in both essences, either academic or professional. You will be able by the end of this course to secure your network from the point of design to operation and also monitor and perform incident handling as well as penetration testing for your network. About myself, I'm Dr. Muhammad Adli. I hold BSc in Communications and Electronics Engineering since 1998. I hold Diploma in Computer Networks in 1999. I got my Master Degree in Computer Networks in 2005. I hold four SANS certificates in security essentials, incident handling, firewalls, and wireless security from SANS. I'm PhD in computer networks since 2014. I'm certified instructor from Dale Carnegie. I work as professional instructor in computer networks and security since 1999. Let us now move to the sections of this course. Section 1 is Introduction to Computer Networks. The first lecture answers the question of what is a computer network. The second lecture covers the topologies used in computer networks. The third lecture is about the categories of computer networks. And the fourth lecture is about the devices used in computer networks such as the switches, the routers, and the services offered by computer networks. The lecture 5 focuses on the transmission media either in the wired networks or the wireless computer networks. Section 2 is about the ISO OSI model, the seven layers. Why do we use such a model in the computer networks? This is answered in lecture 1. Lecture 2 speaks about the application, presentation and session layers the upper three layers of the seven layers. Lecture 3 speaks about the transport and network layers. Lecture 4 tackles and handles the data link and physical layers of the seven layers. And Lecture 5 shows how this model works, how it is put in action, how it, is, it manipulates data and sends and receives packet between each other while sending or receiving. Section 3 is about the famous protocol, the standard protocol of the Internet, the TCP IP protocol suit. Lecture 1 introduces this protocol and shows the meaning of the word protocol in the world of computer networks. Lecture 2 handles the IP protocol working in layer 3, the IP addressing and routing. Lecture 3 handles the TCP and UDP protocols working in layer 4 and the concept of the port number. Lecture 4 handles the application protocols working in, layer fi in layers 5, 6 and 7 and shows the FTP, the HTTP, the DNS protocols and how are they working inside the TCP IP protocol suit. Lecture 5 shows the characteristics of the TCP IP and starts by handling the commands and tools working with the TCP IP such as ping, NS lookup and other commands uh, w using the TCP IP protocol suit. Section 4 shows the wireless network's benefits and why do we go wireless sometimes. Lecture 2 shows the wireless network's types. Lecture 3 shows the wireless network protocol, the famous protocol of Wi-Fi. Lecture 4 shows the wireless network's devices and mainly the access point, it fe its features and how it is embedded inside the wired infrastructure. Lecture 5 shows the drawbacks and what are the disadvantages of going wireless inside the network. Section 5 is the introduction of computer network security and the rest of the sections are all about the security. Lecture 1 in this section introduces the security goals. Lecture 2 
shows how securing the network starts from the point of designing the network. Lecture 3 shows the security issues that can be found in the TCP IP protocol suite and the tools that can craft some packets. Lecture 4 shows the concept of port scanning and the tools that can be used in the port scanning. Lecture 5 shows the concept of sniffing and the tools that can be used in sniffing and how sniffing can be beneficial and how it is useful for the securing our network if done with permission. Section 6 is about the firewalls and the honeypots. Why do we use a firewall? This question is answered in Lecture 1. Lecture 2 shows how do we use the firewall rules. Lecture 3 manipulates the filtering and the action of the firewall for the packets. Lecture 4 shows the concept of the honeypots and how and when it is used. Lecture 5 starts to show how the firewalls can be bypassed. Section 7 inside this course shows the concept of intrusion detection and intrusion prevention systems IDS and IPS what is an intrusion detection system this is covered in lecture one how an IDS works inside the network and how it is performing to be a network IDS NIDS this is the subject of lecture two what are the challenges of NIDS NIDS stands for network intrusion detection system and how can can it can these challenges be overcome Lecture 4 deals with Snort software as network intrusion detection system. Lecture 5 introduces the concept of intrusion prevention system as a mature technology used nowadays in security and that shows a very uh, big success in the world of security. Section 8 handles the wireless network security and lecture one tackles the wireless encryption protocol WEP and its attacking and how this protocol is obsolete right now and can be used for security lecture two introduces the advantages of WPA and AES protocols and when we speak about encryption protocols we do not handle the mathematics but we speak about the protocols and we handle the protocols from the point of view of the usage and of the advantages and of the comparison between them Lecture 3 handles the wireless security misconceptions and how do people think that wireless networks can perform and can offer while it really does not offer these things. Lecture 4 speaks about the wireless attacks and how it can be mitigated. Lecture 5 shows how can we secure a wireless network from the point of designing such network and how do we embed the wireless infrastructure in a secure way inside the wired infrastructure section 9 introduces the physical security and introduces also the incident handling lecture 1 is about the objectives of physical security and how the human lives are the most important object of physical security I mean lecture 2 shows that physical threats and their mitigation and how the physical threats can be overcome lecture 3 introduces the defense uh, in-depth concept and how to make the attacker face a problem followed by another problem and how to slow the pace of any attacker trying to uh, perform network intrusion on your network lecture 4 shows what is incident handling and what uh, is an incident and how an event can be considered as an event of interest then transformed to be an incident lecture 5 demonstrates the steps of incident handling in a professional way and on scientific basis and on scientific background section 10 is a conclusion and we try to show and demonstrate the concept of the CIA confidentiality integrity and availability in lecture 2 we show the meaning of assets threats and vulnerabilities in lecture 3 we define the risks and the network intrusion in lecture 4 we demonstrate how are the common attacks in the world of network security performed and in lecture 5 we offer some recommendations that can be used directly to secure your network in a professional way the course moves to you step by step using the academic and the professional background 
as well as the software tools from the level of beginner to the level of professional inside network security domain. Thank you.